Hey guys, BrickWizard59 here and welcome back to a brand new custom build review. And this is a look at my first order ATST Walker. Now before we get started, just want to let you know there will be light spoilers in this video as I will basically be talking about the scene in which the first order ATST Walker appeared in in Star Wars The Last Jedi. So if you've not seen the film and you don't want to really get spoiled, then I guess you should just turn away and watch this video afterwards. I personally don't think that's really too much of a spoiler. It's more of like a, it's like not really as much uh, centered towards the plot. It's not really dependent upon the plot and it's a bit more of like a comedic scene, I could say. Um, but still, if you don't want to know anything about the film, I'd go ahead and just turn away and once you watch the film, come and see this video. But anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So, uh, just in uh, winter 2018, LEGO has released a first order ATSD Walker set. And when I saw that set, I wasn't that pleased. And again, here's where the spoilers start. Basically, uh, what the ATSD Walker is, is it's basically the set, it's just the legs and kind of like a base. So the entire head is missing. And the reason why, and again, basically what happens in The Last Jedi is BB-8 ends up uh, taking control of a First Order ATST walker in the hangar bay of Snoke's ship. And the problem is that the ATST was, I guess, connected to a section of the ship. I guess it was getting charged or fueled. And because of that, uh, it was, again, connected to a section of the ship. So when BB-8 activates the walker and it starts moving, the head part was still connected and it basically just breaks off and stays behind and he's all he's left with are the legs and kind of the base which he is ending up controlling. And again, I can see why Lego just ended up uh, using the base and the legs um, for the set, but then I wouldn't have called it a first order ATST as it's basically half of one. So I decided to go ahead and build my own version of the ATSD Walker, and this is what I've come up with. Now, uh, this was actually a bit more of a challenging build, especially in terms of reference pictures, as there really weren't any. Uh, again, you saw it for like a second or two with the head on in the movie, and I didn't have images of that, and I didn't exactly remember how it looked. Luckily, though, the Star Wars Battlefront crate gameplay was available, and there were some videos of it on YouTube where there were shots of a First Order ATST, even though they were very glimpsed and very small, but I ended up making do with that and making this First Order ATST. Now, basically, the way it works, the legs, I based off the First Order ATST set as. Again, the legs were pretty much identical to how they were seen in the Rogue One ATSD with a few modif with a few modifications. So that's kind of what I did, basing it off the set, uh, the the kind of head. That's what I ended up the head and kind of the base. I ended up basing off of the images from the Star Wars Battlefront Two video game. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Remove these de uh, First Order Executioner Troopers out of the way. Very very cool figures. Um, but anyways, here we have a look at the ATST, and let's go ahead and start off taking a look at the legs. All right, so here we have a look at the legs. Again, they're very similar to the Rogue One ATST, and I will do a quick side by side at the end of this video with the Rogue One ATST. Um, but basically, again, the legs are exactly identical. Uh, you have nice sticker pieces here, and then in terms of the legs and tiling, I did add some one by three tiles, and uh, kind of change these parts up. Uh, these were actually made using kind of those round dish pieces, but instead I added these kind of modified uh, two by two round tiles with the stun on the top here and here. And that was actually based on how it was seen in the First Order ATSC set. And then this part I also modified a bit, uh, added a kind of wedge plate and a one by four uh, modified tile. And again, I think that looks really good. You know, it adds a bit more detail to the legs. And then again, I really like how the front section here is, looks using those kind of like wheel pieces in the light bluish gray, and then one of the uh, modified two by two round tiles. And then you can kind of see a look at the back side of the legs. Again, I really didn't change too much on the legs. They were pretty well 
made kind of the way they were. And then we have a look at the base. So this is kind of where things changed. Um, if you've seen the or have the ATSC set, what you know is it's basically a large kind of like square base. Um, so it was at this level all the way to the back. But I ended up adding this section here. If you see the picture of the first order ATSC, what you see is there's this kind of like triangular uh, piece here in the back that kind of jets out and is kind of a lot larger uh, in height compared to the rest of the walker. So that's what I made here and I think it looks really nice. Uh, I did leave the two stickers and then the knob also I added a tile to but it still does work. And then what I did was I found the image and in the image it showed that the base section was all dark bluish gray parts. So I put dark bluish gray to uh, slopes and kind of the curved slopes to kind of give it a really sleek look. Again, I'll get a better look at it. You can see we have a couple of those grill pieces. And then sadly, this turntable base is in light bluish gray. I wanted to make it in dark bluish gray, but that piece actually does not exist uh, in Lego, which was actually quite surprising. I did not know that. Um, and then again, in the back, you have your spring loaded shooters, which I ended up leaving in. Thought they were a pretty cool uh, play feature. Uh, there you go. So again, they're pretty cool and they're pretty well hidden. That's why I ended up leaving them in. Um, but anyways, now let's go ahead and take a look kind of at the main uh, walker. Right up here. And basically uh, what you see here is um, the base here in the back was kind of changed. So before, if you know, there's those kind of round tiles with that detailing I removed that because uh, the new one actually has a lot of square kind of parts on the back so that's kind of what I did there and I, again I think it looks really nice and uh, just adds a bit more detail to it it uh, makes it a bit more accurate moving along to the front of the build this is really where everything changed so actually let's start off with the side view is rather than using those kind of modified dish pieces in dark bluish gray if you look at the first order ATST the dish pieces are much, much larger. So I ended up using kind of the larger ones. These are kind of seen in the ATST, ATAT walkers. And again, I think that looks really nice. And uh, then you have this kind of section here. It's like a it kind of jets out of the rest of the walker. And I wanted to make it as accurate as I could. And again, I think it looks really good. I added this cool sticker piece from the Thai Striker. And again, I think that uh, really adds a bit more detail. So basically how that piece is made is using one of these curved slopes and then just regular slopes on the bottom. And again, I think that looks really good. You can kind of get a better look at it from the back, how much it jets out by about a, a brick and one plate. And same thing on the other side, as you can see there. Looks really nice. I really like how that looks. And in terms of the blasters, now because the pictures were so small, I couldn't get a look at the blasters very well. There was someone who did make a model of the first order ATSD on a cardboard. Again, I don't know how accurate it was, but I ended up basing the blasters off of that build. And again, so here's the first one here. I think it looks really good. It's basically just made using some of the Technic parts with a round brick on the bottom. And then again, one of these kind of like panel pieces. Um, and again, it looks pretty good. Now this side, uh, that model showed that it was kind of like a uh, six barrel blaster which again I couldn't really make work out of Lego I tried using those binocular pieces and they just didn't look good so I made kind of a, a different kind of version and again it looks pretty good as some slopes a bit of a clip there and again I think it looks really nice and now moving along to the front there have been a few changes uh, to the build basically what I ended up doing was the blaster I ended up changing by extending it if you see the image, the blaster is actually a lot, a bit longer compared to the regular ATSD. So I ended up kind of changing that, adding these two pieces here in the front. And then on the bottom, you kind of have this type of piece right here, which I also added. And again, I think that looks really nice. And then I also changed up adding some tiles and slopes here. This was based on the first order ATSD set. Now here's the front. Now this is probably my favorite part of the build. I really love how that's turned out. It looks really, really nice. I left the base of it, uh, the front section here, 
I did add these really nice 2x2 kind of modified, I guess, wedge pieces and a couple of tiles. And then the big change with the first order ATST is kind of the uh, place, the windscreen place or piece. And it's actually one whole piece rather than those two uh, kind of holes, uh, which are seen in the regular ATST. And the way I kind of built that, now here's kind of where the, uh, my memory versus kind of how the build actually looks. I remember in the movie when I saw that ATST, it had kind of like a red uh, windscreen, but when I looked at the ATST in the Battlefront game, it was black. And I tried using black plates, but that didn't look good. I actually tried just not using any pieces at all, but that also wasn't that accurate, so I ended up going with the uh, red color uh, plates. And again, I think that looks really good. So uh, I have some of these kind of like modified plates here in the top and then the wedge pieces or the plate pieces which you could see are attached to the top and we'll take a look at the interior in just a second this uh build also opens up and sometimes it's a bit difficult to get to but again i didn't really change much uh with that the uh, hatch here it's uh, pretty much exactly the same as you could see there closing it up I did remove all the detailing that was on the top. The first order ATSD does not actually have that detailing. So I just removed it, added a few tiles and slopes. And again, I think that looks really good. Now, in terms of the interior, I was able to make it such that you could fit two minifigures on the interior. So that was really, really awesome. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that as we lift it up here and we'll take a look at the interior. All right, so here's a look at the interior. Again, there's not really a great way to show this to you, but you have a nice control panel in the front. I basically removed that place where you can put those thermal detonators and all that part, and I ended up just adding a second seat. So now you could fit two minifigures inside, and they fit perfectly. I really like that. They're not side to side, but rather back to back. But again, I think that's fine. At least I was able to fit the two minifigures inside. And again, I really like how that looks. And then again, there's a look at the control panel. Other than that, there isn't much on the interior. All right, so here we have a look at both ATSD walkers side by side. So you can kind of really see the difference. Again, the legs are pretty much identical, have a few different uh, parts to it. Um, but again, it's the main builds where they really change. You can see with the front section here, a lot of changes made to it. And then also, you can kind of get a better look at the side views of both. So you can really see all the changes that have been made. And then finally, the back side, you can really see how much different it is. This is a lot more like a square base where this is more like sloped and you have the triangular part in the back. But anyways, there you go. So there was a quick look at both ATST walkers side by side. All right, but anyways, there you go. There's a look at my Lego Star Wars First Order ATST walker. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, a thumbs up would be great. And stay tuned for more videos coming very soon, including an alternate build for the First Order Specialist Battle Pack, as well as a tutorial on the Republic Fighter Tank. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos coming very soon. This is Brick Wizard 59 and I'll see you all next time.